Hello, it's your boy Nick Avelli. You're on Nick Avelli TV. Make sure you like and subscribe at the end of this video. Now, I want to start off by talking about no other than Mr. Kevin Knox and Frank Villaquin. So let's start off with Mr. Kevin Knox. Kevin Knox had 19 points, 5 rebounds, 2 assists, and 2 steals. He shot 50% from within the arc. He had 34% from the three-point line, and he was two for seven with him deep. Kid got game. We're not even talking about the game he had prior to that when he played against the Hawks. This is the game against the Utah Jazz. These are his stats I just gave y'all. Once again, if y'all not listening, he had five rebounds, 19 points, two assists, two steals, and he shot 50% from within the arc, and his three-pointer was at 34% high. And he was two for seven with a D. That's impressive. That's very impressive, even while struggling. Now, when Mr. Kevin Knox played with the Atlanta Hawks, he was eight for 22. He had eight rebounds, and he had 22 points. And in that game, I believe he was one for seven from the off. Mr. Knox, Nicovelli, personally want to apologize to you as I was gassed up with this Michael J. Porter Jr. selection. I'm so happy we chose you. I am so happy. I am so happy. So my apologies for booing you. I played myself. Now, let me get back into Kevin Knox, y'all. Did y'all see the behind the pass, behind the back pass, to no other than Mitchell Robinson? God damn. You find out he got handled too. That happened when the Knicks defense was a little shaky. But he came up with that play. Oh my God. And let's not forget about that two hand dunk to the rim. It was very explosive by no other than Mr. Kevin Knox. I predict that Mr. Kevin Knox is going to be a Hall of Famer. He should be Rookie of the Year. I'm predicting all that. Mr. Knox, welcome to New York City, baby. Now, I want to get on to no other than Mr. Frank Milliken. And I want to start off by saying, when we played against the Atlanta Hawks, a lot of y'all were saying that he's a bust. Same old Frank. He's passive. How we got these new rookies out playing him on the Knicks. Well, what do y'all got to say right now, haters? Huh? I don't hear y'all. Was Frank Nilakina aggressive, y'all? Did he do the damn thing? Huh? Oh, I, can I get a response from my hater? <laughs> to answer that, because I know y'all haters ain't going to answer that. Hells yeah, Frank Nilakina did the damn thing. He had a high of 17 points with six to six. I'm telling y'all, man, under Coach Fisdale, this kid, Frank Nilakina, is going to come out his shell and do the goddamn thing that's needed for the New York Knicks. We never knew how great he was last year because, once again, he was all over the place. He didn't serve a purpose. I don't even think he had an identity under Jeff Hornacek. But he got one now under Coach Fisdale. And Frank Nilakina is going to be a great asset. And he's going to prove the haters wrong. Yes, he is, y'all. This is a big leap from the first game where Frank Nilakina only had five points out of seven shot selections. So like I said, man, Frank Nilakina is going to be the man that's going to get the Knicks through the playoffs. Because once again... Defense is needed during the postseason. The game slows down, y'all. The game slows down. The game slows down. And y'all going to need stops. Y'all going to have to stop plays. Anybody can run and gun and shoot. But can you still the ball? Can you stop other players from getting that shot off while the 24 shot clock is running? Huh? And let's talk about Frank Nilakina spinning around jumping. Come on now. 
Frank Nilakina, welcome, baby. Welcome. Nicovelli know you had a lot of bullshit happen to you while under the umbrella of Jeff Homicide. You know what I'm saying? You no longer have to worry about that clown. You're in good hands, y'all, with Coach Fizdale. And I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.